say that was a good bite. Welcome back to the Canadian series, guys, and thanks for subscribing to the LFG channel here. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and smash the button and hit the ding-dongs for all the notifications if you want to watch the whole Canadian series. This is number two. I'm not going to talk about it too much. We're going to get right into it. But it did turn out to be a great day of finding smallmouth using a particular lure that was really fun to search them. It's a search bait. And because it's Rainy Lake, we got into some other awesome fish too. So without further ado, we're gonna leave off right where we were on the last episode, zooming up Rainy Lake into the North Country, me and LFD smashing faces. Here we go. It actually feels like I'm in that game, that Rapala fishing game, and I'm in that little dinghy you start out with when you're on like the first level. That's what I feel like right now. By the way, I have no cell phone on me right now. Good. Disconnected. So, sorry about the Instagram, but God, it feels good. Give me a bald eagle or something. Woo! Okay, we just slowed her down. We're in a new area now. No idea where I am. I'm just out here in the woods. I'm going to use my little GPS unit to mark some stuff. Yeah? We're only halfway? Okay, so I need to be on my game. Okay, they're telling me I gotta stay right behind them because it's super rocky where we're going. So, I gotta pay attention. No more jacking around. This is a rocky son of a gun. Apparently this is a long ways up here because we're only halfway and we've been running about 20 minutes already. Part of the experience though. And it is gorgeous. It's almost better to go a little slower and take in the views. I love all these grasses that are growing out of these rocks out here. All of the spruce trees and pines and evergreens. It's, this is a special place, I'll tell you what. Shut her down and give her a go. Okay, I'm now joined by LFD. This is a known 40 plus inch pike spot. I'm wondering what I should use. You know, I caught that 40 plus incher last year on a tube. It's not just about small mouth. It's about all mouths. One of you guys sent me something pretty nifty. It's a inline spinner. Inline spinners are good for pike, musky, uh, bass hit them as well. Whew, don't be nasty went out there and get bit. I got those and I got big jerk baits. Look at that little module right there. Oh, dang it. I just lost that lure. Yeah. It snapped. Hey! Green turd! I lost my pike lure. That didn't last long. Bigger fish. Got him. Little one. Or it's a pike just running out here. Oh, it's a little small mouth. It's a tiny, fat, fat one. Oh my God. He is fat, golly. That is a chubby one there. <laughs> Grow up and be fat. Love ya. Ooh, I see some big rocks. There's gotta be some crack dwellers in there. Oh, gosh. Oh, got one. Oh, dang. Good size. Probably pike. I believe so. Oh, we have something here. We have the big one. This might be the green turd. It's not coming up to jump, I know that. Oh, it's, oh, it's a walleye, it's a big one. It's a big walleye. Ted's gonna freak out when he sees this. Oh my God, look at it. That's huge. Oh, dang. Where's my bogus? My boga grips. Oh, come here, baby. Look at those teeth. Oh, man, <laughs> look at that guy right there. Oh my gosh, look at this walleye right there, guys. That is the biggest walleye I've ever caught. That is a freaking beauty. 
That is a beautiful, beautiful fish right there. Let's see how long this guy is. So you can't keep that fish. 24 inches long. Absolute dandy. Okay, dude, that's my biggest walleye, PB walleye. Hopefully he swims off. I know these things aren't really well known for their fighting abilities. Let's snap back to life. There you go. See ya. Good little spot right there. The sun's coming out. So I've, I've, I've already hit the cycle. Pike, smallmouth, and uh, walleye. Yeah. Got him. That's a good one. That's a pike. Look, you can see him from a mile away. Get the bogus. <laughs> Get the boga grips. Look at that green tube in the face. Oh man. These things are fun though. I love it. Let's get a good grip on that face. Okay. This was a good last last minute packing decision. <laughs> wow. Gotta watch those dentures. They will snap ya. They're beautiful fish. They stink though. They don't smell nice. But they're fun. Okay, I'm putting the boger grips right there. I've had two pike, haven't had to change my leader or a tube or anything yet. Really important up here when you're fishing these rocks to have a hook file. These rocks will just dull your hooks quick. Some good rocks. Try to hit this with some swimmers. Oh, there's one. Got him. The slime. slime. The slime is here. That's a good. Oh, broke my first chatterbait casualty of the trip. Okay. Put a little wake bait on here. What this bait does right here is it just stays right under the surface. It's like a topwater. And it has a lot of commotions. It's a smallie. Gotta love the pull of the brown ones. Good fish. Beautiful fish. Absolutely gorgeous. Eighth ounce little head. It's, it's perfect for this. Oh yeah. Mouth. Mouthful of hooks. <laughs> Hoping to have a little bit more fun with that top water. Oh, Smalley. Smalley just tried to grab it. Smalley got it. Smalley got it. Came up and hit that top water. That was freaking amazing. Oh, gosh. That was cool. Look at that beautiful fish. Hitting that wake bait in the shallows, man. It's even cooler when they try to grab it and they miss. Sweet. Hey, top water, little top water with some wind on a weight bait. I'll take it. Try to remember the name of this bait. Oh, there's another one. Oh gosh, good one too. Good one, just come up and missed it. Come up off of, that, off of that boulder there. Just slow pops, slow pops. Got him. Got him, got him on the slow pops. That might be the biggest one on the trip so far. Don't you love them? Top water in the face. Yes! Oh God, I'm gonna break my rod. Come on now, come on now. Let's be easy. There you go. Good fish. Well, he liked it too, didn't he? Mm-hmm. That's a slimy one. Don't want him to cut my line. Yes. Thank you. 
Bye bye. Slimesters. Oh! Got a smallie. Oh, he came off and that was a good one. You got one too. Dang. Oh yeah. Oh, got it. Another one right at the boat. It's a pike though. Oh my gosh. I don't want you. I want the smallie. Oh no. Pike loose in the boat. Get out of here. So cool. You got pike and smallmouth coming up, hitting top water. Oh gosh. Pike ate it while I was swimming it in. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, look at that face. Oh, oh he's really? pooping out turds. That's turds. Poppers and uh, this little wake bait right here. That smallmouth I just caught. Oh gosh, another smallmouth right there. Came off that boulder, hit the top water like a champion. God, I love you. You're just awesome. Look at that big, beautiful brown screamer. Oh, he's spitting out little somethings, little nymph pods or something. Oh, I think we're gonna have to sling it for the fishing freaks. Do one Texas style right here. Oh, get in my boat. I love you. Mm. Look at those red eyes. Mm. Grab you by the face, give you a deep sniff. Okay, gang, look at that fish. Beautiful, small mouth. Here we go, first. Full Canadian sniff. Oh, you smell great. Those red eyes. Look at those big, beautiful red eyes. Love you. Top water wake bait. That's where it's at. That fish came off a boulder right there. But God, when they hit it, it is fantastic. See ya. Good. Real good. I see a bed. Yeah, I see a bed right there. Smally bed. Oh, he's coming up to get it. See that? Uh -oh. Got him. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're... Yeah? Of course. Look, there's more beds. We're drifting over them. Yeah. Oh, God, there's lots of them. Oh, man. That was cool right there, guys. That was awesome. I saw a bed. I couldn't see the fish. They blend in so well with the bottom. But I just threw over there, and I, I paused the wake bait. And when I paused it, it was game over. Came right up to the top and grabbed it. Bedding smallies, so, so aggressive. You'll never see a largemouth do like the smallmouth do. Okay, good fish. A lot of beef in that hook set for that little fish. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hey, you got it out of the cover. That's a good job. Yeah. Missed him. I'll tell you, that was a good bite. Savage. Dad's got one. Good one? Slimer? I think it's a slime. Yep. 
slime. It's my first slimer of the day. Well, they slap it, don't they? There's a few in here. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You got something big on the little tiny road? It's a walleye. Yeah, it might be a keeper. It's a keeper. Perfect. There we go. I think that's an eater. Beautiful. That was just an incredible day of fishing with my dad and this whole week, all these episodes are really awesome. Big shout out to LFD though for being just an awesome dad and I enjoy this trip a lot. And I enjoy you guys too. So go ahead and leave your comments down below. Now that I'm back here in the States, I can answer some of your questions or just read some weird stuff that popped into your head. But either way, I still love you. Thanks for being here, Fishing Freaks. I will see you guys on the next episode soon, right here.